the story. Quiet, everyone. It's time to hear all about the Promised Land. Your 12 leaders, one from each tribe that I sent out, are back. And then we're going to go there. This is so exciting. Okay, everyone. So we went and looked around just like Moses told us to. And yeah, there's some pretty amazing food there. See these grapes? It takes two men to carry one cluster. But there are also giant people there. They're so tall. You are just like grasshoppers. They're going to crush you under their feet. And there's so many people living there. We have got to turn around and leave. Oh no, we're going to die. They all started to cry and say, we need new leaders. We should go back to Egypt. <laughs> Quiet, everyone, said Caleb and Joshua. We were there too, and what we saw was a land that is full of everything we need, just like God promised, and God will go with us. We're not going to be crushed like grasshoppers. God will crush our enemies. We should go right now, they said. Don't listen to them. They're just young and foolish. And so the people picked up stones and were getting ready to kill their leaders and kill these two young men. Moses and Aaron were on their face crying before the people. The presence of God appeared over the tent of meeting and God spoke so everyone could hear. Moses, I am done with these people. They will not trust me or believe in me, no matter how many times I appear to them and I rescue them. Oh God, please forgive them again, said Moses. Besides, what will the Egyptians think? They know of all the amazing things you've done for us. They'll think you couldn't finish the job and get us to the promised land. I will forgive them again. But only Joshua and Caleb will see my promised land because they believe in me with all their hearts. The rest of you, you all have to go back and stay in the desert. Today we are learning that God helps us be brave when we go against the crowd. Thank you.